Welcome! In this tutorial, we will try to use ChatGPT to create some simple carousel component. As you maybe know, ChatGPT is one of the most popular AI tool right now. And uh, in the YouTube, you can find a lot of YouTubers who say that ChatGPT will, will replace software develop developers in the future. So let's try how it works really how it works for the sol for solving usual front-end tasks and um, what can it do. Okay, we have ChatGPT, we will use Swiper. We want ChatGPT to use Swiper to create a carousel and uh, we have empty project, this one, created with Create React app to check the final result of its work. Okay, so let's ask uh, to build the carousel with four image slides using Swiper.js library. Okay, let's check what we will have. So it provides a simple component you can use for your carousel. We will copy this code, put it to the IDE and we will check what we have. Also, as we see, we have a lot of explanation what the tax components we used and uh, maybe it's useful, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Also, as you see, we have a usage of this component. Okay, let's go step by step and first of all, we need to copy this code. What's the most important is it's not a Python, it's JavaScript. Even it's not JavaScript, it's a bash, but let's use install swiper. In my case, I'm using yarn, so let's yarn add, or you know, let's use everything what it provides. Uh, first of all, is that you need to understand that it's two different commas and you need to put them into two different places. The first one we will install swiper in the application. The next, we need create user factor. Mm -hmm. uh, we need create a component. Yes, we have it. And it calls carousel. Let's copy everything. In the source, we will create new file, file carousel JS. Then we will put, just copy everything what it provides. The next we have carousel and in the app JS, as it says, we need to add the next code. We need to import carousel and um, use it. Let's copy in the app jazz. So we have installed swiper. We have component. And let's run or even we already run it, let's check. So, pretty interesting, but buttons doesn't work. Okay, why do we need these buttons at all? We have swiper pagination swiper button prep and the next
Let's check the documentation. What do we have in this Viper? We will go to the get started. We see that we need to import this CSS. It's okay. In our case, we imported the bundle size, not all models separately, but it's okay. We also have Swiper. We created Swiper. We don't use any models. So it's a question why do we need, why it put navigation without model navigation? So it puts swiper pagination, yes, as it was mentioned here, sw swiper scroll bar, but in the result we don't see pagination, we don't see, and buttons doesn't work. And pagination, as you see, is empty. So looks like it works somehow we have swiper it's okay but it doesn't work as it should be okay it doesn't work because all we need to use a version for react and in case we will use react it provides another code sample let's clarify it We will clarify that we need React Swiper Jazz version and we will check how it works. Now it looks better, much better. So we have the same usage of carousel, but we have another component. Let's copy this code and um, put it here. So as you understand, this version, it creates a sw swiper, but only for the vanilla jazz version. For React, we have a better version. And now, as you see, we have navigation and pagination modules. Let's check result mm -hmm. now it works better really better so basically it works and works as we expected more or less but what's important in case you will check the documentation you will see that we will use React Carousel with four images slides using Swiper Jazz version 6. But when we will open the site, we see that we are using version 9. So basically, basically it's the biggest problem with chat GPT, GPT that it uses the old code samples. So it was the model was trained with data published. Uh, before 2021 that's why all the new versions of the code code samples it doesn't know how it works so in case you need to use the latest versions of react or any other library it won't work so be ready that you will use the old version of the code but in general everything else is more or less okay we can replace these images with any other image and carousel will work so let's try to do something more complex in the next video. Thank you for watching.